I'll just have to try it. Okay, welcome. Last time we had Bible together, we learned about baby Moses. And God had a big purpose for his life. Give me a thumbs up if God has a purpose for your life. Yes. Do you know what that is? Not yet. But you know that every day you can obey your parents. You can do your best in school. You can be friendly. All those things are what God wants you to do right now. And then as you live your life, it'll be like Moses' life. You'll gradually see more and more of God's purpose. So there came a time when Moses was a grown man. And he went out to visit his relatives, the children of Israel. They were in slaves in Egypt. And he went out to visit them. And he saw that they were being worked really, really hard. The Egyptian slave masters were whipping them and forcing them to work many hours a day. And building and building. And Moses knew that he was an Israelite like those people. And he had been rescued from that slave life. Where had he lived all these years? Can, do you remember? Who, who picked him out of the river? Pharaoh's daughter. And so Pharaoh's daughter had made him like the grandson of the king. And so he had a really fancy life in the palace. <clears throat> when he saw that the other Israelite people were so poorly treated, it made him angry inside. Can you show me an angry look? <sighs> we have to be careful when we get angry because sometimes we go and do something that is very sinful. And that's what happened to Moses. He went over to one of the Egyptian slave um, um, slave masters, and he killed that slave master. And he looked around. He didn't think anybody had seen him. So he quickly buried the body in the sand, and then he went, he, tr he tried to keep it a secret. He went out the next time, and someone said to him, uh, when he got angry again, he said, are you going to kill me like you killed the other guy? And then Moses realized that he had been seen. And so he ran away to live out in the wilderness. And when he was out in the wilderness, this is what happened. Moses lived in the desert of Midian for many years. One day, he was at Mount Horeb, the mountain of God. And he noticed that there was a bush that was covered in flames. And he thought, why doesn't that bush burn up? Suddenly, a voice boomed out of the flames. So there is the bush. It still has its leaves, but it's on fire. The voice boomed, Moses, Moses, don't come any closer to the bush. I am the God of Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, and Joseph. I have heard the cries of my people, and I am going to rescue them from slavery. Go back to Egypt and tell Pharaoh, to let my people go. Moses began to shake. No, not me, Lord. Who am I? I can't tell Pharaoh that message. I don't talk very well. Send somebody else. And then God said, I will be with you, Moses. Here is a sign to show you that I, to show that I sent you. Throw your staff on the ground. So here's the staff. Moses did as God told him. And his staff became a, do you know? Snake. It became a snake. And it slithered away. Moses 
grabbed onto the snake's tail, and immediately it turned back into a staff. Moses saw the power that God had, the miracles that he could do. And he began to get ready to lead God's people. You know, Moses, we don't know for sure what happened to him, but he, he believed that he was not a good speaker. And, you know, maybe somebody in here thinks, oh, I don't talk very well, so I can't do anything. Or... I can't read very well, so I can't do anything. Or I don't know how to do math very well, so I'm not very important. But you know what? God has a purpose for your life, just like he does for the life of Mo. He did for the life of Moses. Maggie. Yes, I know. That's quite annoying, isn't it? Yeah, thank you. Um... Now, we're going to do kind of a little art project with Moses. And we're going to try to draw a bush. Here's my suggestion. You start down here. Remember when we drew our trees? Yeah. But a bush is like that, only it's not as big, and it's going to have a lot of kind of wiggly branches. And then they're going to wiggle out some more. They're going to wiggle out some more. And we're going to use what color? Green. We're going to use brown, and then I want you to put green leaves on the on the bush. Okay, so first you're going to use, you're going to cover your paper with a, a bush. And then, after you get it colored, I'm going to hand out three colors of squares. And these... You're gonna you're gonna bend the square like this. They're gonna be yellow, red, and orange. The colors of what? Fire. Fire. And you're gonna put glue just on this triangle part, and you're gonna glue them. Oh, let's glue them this way, so they looks like flames of fire going up there. Okay, and then you'll be able to open them up a little bit and see that there's still green leaves underneath. Does that make sense? What's your first thing? Draw a bush with what color leaves? Green. Green leaves. And then I'll hand out the flames of fire that we're going to put on there. Maybe we'll, maybe we'll go like this, and then you can open it up. Either way. All right, here we go. 